him there. That he, Jesus Christ, he got in the boat with his disciples. Disciples being disciplined followers. Lord, one more time, give us disciplined followers in the house of God. Amen. That when the Lord, that when the man of God speaks, that we will listen. And he said to them, let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. Stop right there. You see, Jesus Christ just told his disciples that they were going to launch out and they were going to go to the other side of the lake. There's one thing God can never do, guys. God can never lie. Because anything that comes out of God's mouth is going to happen. Amen? Could you imagine God getting upset at somebody and say something about who it would be a good day in our life? Amen? I tell you what, there's nothing God cannot lie because anything he says is going to happen. So he has already told his disciples, hey, we're going to the other side. But they launched out in verse 23. But they sailed and he fell asleep. And a great windstorm came down on the lake and they were filling with water and they were in jeopardy. Guys, the disciples were seasoned sailors. They knew what they were doing on this, on this water, amen? They knew exactly what was going on. But I could imagine this storm in their life was so strong that it really put them in jeopardy. They thought they were going to die. But what did they do? In the next verse, in 24, it says they came to him. They ran to Jesus. That's what we should all do, amen? We should all run to Jesus. Saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging water, and they ceased, and there was a great calm. Ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing I have learned in my life. God will never keep the storm from happening in your life. God will never keep the test from happening in your life. What matters is, is if we pass the test or not, amen? I used to be a school teacher. Pastor, you were a school teacher. You know what? When we give a test, it's to further you. Amen? We might not like being in a test. We not, might not understand it. I know I used to run to my teacher and go, well, I don't really understand this. And now they always say to me, no talking during the test. Amen? <laughs> Guys, God will put us through tests. And you know, I was looking in the scriptures and I, I, I'm really, I'm always digging in the Greek. And I'm always looking at the Greek. And you know what? There's a scripture in the Bible that says that we should pray for our enemies. Enemies can also be, be translated as a problem in your life, a storm in your life. 